Hello and welcome to a tutorial. Today I would like to show you how you can connect your the Things Stack Community Edition or personal instance to Datacake. And we're on a mission to make IoT more easy and we bring a new integration that lets you import your devices and automatically configure the Things Stack Community or personal instance. So first of all, let's start with an empty workspace on Datacake. And today we're using the Dragino LHD65. And for this uh, tutorial, I've already created one uh, a new application on the ThingStack Community Edition. In here, there are five devices, and one of them is here on my desk. So let's start connecting this application to Datacake. On Datacake, you will add a new device or will start the integration process by creating a new device. Select LoRaWAN, next one, search for the LHD65 template, select Next, and now we're going to select the Things Stack. In the next step, here are some things different. Before, you would need to manually enter the devices. This is not required anymore because we can import them from the Things Stack. And to do this, we need to hook up the Things Stack um, server to Datacake Workspace. And this is done um, by clicking on the Show button. So now we need to provide um, the instance host name, which is the server address. And this is eu1.cloud.thethingsnetwork. Um, U1 Cloud Network. And also we need to provide an API key. This API key is your personal API key because we want to import any of those applications maybe. So let's go back to the things stack and on your um, profile, click on personal API keys. We need to create a new API key. We call this data cake um, API key, for example. We leave everything else here unchanged and just simply click on create API key. This shows up this uh, model here and it asks us for copying the API key. Yes, we copy it. This is only showed once. So I can um, click on, yes, I have copied it. And now we go back into data cake. Now we paste this token in here and we simply click on add and this um, adds the TTS server, so the community edition now, your user account to Datacake. Now we can select the application that we want to import and as I've said, I have an application here which is called my LHD65N application. This is now showing up on Datacake and also when I click on it, I can see all the devices that are in there. To make it more easy, there's this new blue button, which is um, called Setup Integration. And by clicking on that, we prepare your application for sending data to Datacake, but also for receiving downlinks. So as well as um, yeah, creating API keys and so on. We just um, need to um, yeah, click on Setup. And this is now happening in the back end that everything is hooked up and your instance and the application is being prepared. And now I can select all devices and I click on next and select the plan. And yes, I want to import all five devices and they are now automatically being imported from your ThingStack um, list of devices to Datacake. Let's switch into grid view and then we can see all of these devices here. And also let's go back and hit the submission key here for sending a new message on the device. I'm not sure how that works. I think I need to wait one second, release it. And yes, it joins, it forwards the join accept message. Something is happening on that device. And I think we will see some data coming up here in a few seconds. Yes, there is data from that device. And let's go back into data cake. And yes, we can see the data here on this device. This is uh, showing up on data cake. And also because I've said we automatically configure everything in the configuration, we can see that the downlinks are configured. So that means that on the downlink section, we can now set this device to five minute reporting interval. And let's see what happens here on the instance. And yes, the downlink was received. Let's go back to the dashboard and we can see the current data from that device in here. Yeah, so this is it. This is what you need to do to hook up your the things that community or private instance to Datacake. 
And there's no need to configure any um, integration for downlinks anymore. Everything is happening automatically and you can add devices simply by selecting a device. Next, select the thing stack and then select automatic import, select your um, server and then the integration or the application that you want to uh, import. If you want to make um, changes to the integration, you also find the, TT, the things stack integration under integration Loravan network service and you can delete it um, if you like. And if you delete it, everything else will be deleted. Also the devices and the whole integration here on the Think Stack. Yes, I hope you liked the video so far. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, use our live chat functionality, or take a look at the documentation. This feature is available now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.